what's going on you guys it's your boy Mundo Golden like and subscribe welcome to my page man let's get to it y'all I want to talk about this T-Pain stuff man T-Pain apparently is going to be on a Netflix series called This Is Pop or something like that and they just dropped a clip where T-Pain is talking about where he was on the plane with Usher going to the BET Awards in 2013 and Usher calls him back and Apparently Usher tells him that, man, you messed up music for real singers or something like that. And he then says that this leads up to a four-year depression. I'm sorry, I call it bullshit. Yeah, this probably wasn't something nice to say, but I don't think this is what led to his four-year depression. I do believe he was depressed, but this is not what it led to it. So I did some little research, and he said the BET Wars in 2013, right? According to sources, it says the BT Awards was on June 30th to 2013, so we had to be around that time when he was flying. I distinctly remember T Pain releasing a, like some tirades on social media around that time, and I looked it up. There's an article written by Nadeska. She says that, and it talks about the time when the Bugatti song released with Ace Hood, and then T Pain was kind of hating on it. Future was just kind of coming up into the mainstream and he was kind of seen as a new T-Pain because he was doing hooks and he was also using auto-tune a little bit as a sound. This is what T-Pain said, I don't think Future gets the technology very well. I don't think he understands how it actually works. It's just a weird thing to say because it's obviously working. The song was a hit. I don't, like, why would you say that? And then he goes on to say, funny thing about that Bugatti you woke up in, it's mine. Oh, the irony. And it says that he wrote that in February of that year, 2013. And then he goes on to say, Haha, funny how the new T-Pain has to use the old T-Pain Bugatti for his Bugatti hook. Haha, yeah. So there's that. Not at all throwing shots at Ace Hood. That's my man, 100 grand. So he says that he's not taking shots at Ace Hood. So he's clearly taking shots at Future, who's also on the song. And you notice how he said the new T-Pain? So he acknowledges that, okay, this dude's taking my spot. So you see, to blame it on Usher that, oh, Usher was the start of my depression. No, you had gravity issues. What goes on must come down. That's, that's the way the music business works. T-Pain had a great run, and I'm not hating on him. T-Pain's one of my favorite artists. I think he's dope. He can still make good music to this day. I think he was innovative. He's been one of the most inspiring people in the game, rap and music wise. I mean, and he's a good songwriter, so I'm not hating on T-Pain, but don't come out here saying that Usher was the reason why you suffer from depression or he was the start of it. No, look, you sending all these tweets in February. The tweets were in February. You you were obviously hating on Future. You you saw like a passing of the torch and, and you weren't ready to let go. You. And I'm also guessing that you, you invest in a dumb car. It's a really stupid car to invest in if you're not, if you don't have like a hundred million dollars, it's a dumb car to invest in because I know it's not even, I, I don't even think the buying of the car is a problem, which is like $2 million. He said he bought it used, but still, it's still probably a lot of money, but it's probably the main to the car. So I'm, I'm imagining you're, go, you're going through a time where you're not putting out many hits, you know, and you have to ma maintenance a car. You also made some other dumb investments like dang like what's gonna happen like so the depression comes comes with that and that's just human being stuff so i'm not judging him again this is not a shot of t-pain i mean it's just it's just gravity i, I love little wayne he's not as hot as he was not 13 i think you can still make the music you're not as hot like it's, it's okay anyways it's your boy 